Hey, Beanbag345 with you for another uh, mouse unboxing. Um, and it's on. This uh, <laughs> this is a mouse I picked up in Walmart the other day uh, for right at $10. Um, you know, usually I don't have very high expectations for mice when they're that inexpensive, but when I picked this one up, it was 15 It was on sale, and it's a fantastic mouse, so I'm not going to judge a book by its cover. But uh, I will look, or, you know, prejudge it based on its price. Um, what we've got here is... Uh, on and that that's a Walmart brand uh, I really think it's specific to Walmart um, inexpensive electronics the only thing I've gotten from on before are uh, lightning cables charging cables and they were okay they didn't last real long but my kids are kind of hard on the on the cables anyway so but what we got here in the package we have the mouse the USB and a couple batteries and uh, there's no Bluetooth symbol this looks like uh, under the specs, 1600 DPI sensitivity. Um, I think that's really mid range or maybe low range, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it performs. I've used uh, I've used some other basic mice and was just fine with what I'm uh, using them for. So that that probably isn't any big deal. Uh, here's your 2.4 gigahertz wireless connector, and they have a note here that it stores in the battery compartment when not in use. That is handy. Um, I used a mouse here probably three years ago that was a real small one like this, and this is a compact mouse, but um, I used one a few years ago that I don't think had a storage option, and uh, yeah, that proved to not be very handy. So uh, it's compatible for Windows, Mac, and Chromebook. Um, I would assume that if you can find a way to get your dongle plugged into if you have an Android tablet or if you have an Android phone you want to use it for I would assume that that would mean if it's Chromebook compatible it would probably be Android compatible but um, I don't know I guess I wouldn't count on it and uh, just be cautious if that's what you want to use it for USB plug and play again that makes me think it's probably compatible with Android but uh, I'm, don't quote me on that you know five clickable buttons we've got one two we've got the third one in the scroll wheel when you depress it and then these two buttons here for back and forward it's got an on-off switch, and that's something that uh, Microsoft started doing um, years ago that really helped the battery last longer, the batteries last longer. Uh, something I will note is there's nothing uh, there's nothing on here stating, you know, any kind of uh, service life for your battery, so I wouldn't expect probably to get a whole lot. Like, you know, two to three months is what I always got before. Uh, with an on-off switch, that could really help, but it's not automatic like you'd see in most Logitech devices now and probably a lot of uh, Microsoft devices. The uh, size of it is real comparable to my M330. Um, it is, you know, it says it's compact, and that, that is shorter. Um, it's not quite... It's not quite as wide. The base of this is a little wider than the top, and this is pretty consistent all the way down. So it looks like this might be okay for, um, you know, using with either hand, uh, except for the button placement, of course. But a person can probably overcome that pretty pretty easy. Um, it's not a lot much. There's not a lot more to say about it. I like uh, right off the bat. I noticed that they've got uh, recessed here. They've got their logo, and they've got it also on the. I don't know if you can see that very well, but they've got the logo on their dongle too, and that's uh, or the receiver, and that's pretty cool. Um, I mean, the print stuff tends to wear off, so you know maybe they're thinking long term use. But um, anyway, also I noticed that this looks like it has the top pop off, and that's where you put your battery, and that's gonna go in there and get stored, and that's kind of neat. Um, that's kind of neat. I like that. It's uh, it's cleaner. I don't know. That's that's kind of neat. I like that the top pops off. Me being uh, techy, I guess, or nerdy. I'm going to get some scissors and go ahead and open this up. Try not to cut the battery. Cut right across the logo. <laughs> I don't think they care. I bought the product. One thing that was nice about this mouse, it was uh, it was $10. I mean, it that really piqued my interest is that it was only $10. And there were, uh, there were a few other options. For mice by on, they have some other mice available that are small too. And um, this one even had, they had it available in white, in gray, and in pink. And I chose white. It looks the best for my setup. Something a little different than the gray, but not pink. That's okay. Let's see. I'm not sure. It 
everything out of here. You really have to demolish this packaging to get it out. That is what I didn't uh, have happen with my Logitech one I just unboxed. Okay, we got the dongle out. Package is demolished, and here's our instructions. I think those are really, again, just product guide, some basic information. Take a look at that later. Okay, now we have the mouse itself. Um, well, it's pretty lightweight. It's going to be get so small. You got your off and on switch. Uh, your connect. So I suppose that's for syncing up with your receiver. And there it is. Oh, it's glory. Uh, that, that doesn't depress real easy, but that's all right. Clicking feels okay. Um, one thing I like about this mouse, and it's why I picked this one, is because if you see the the front here, it, there's an overhang, and so if you're like me and you have you know medium to maybe large size hands, you can let your fingers overhang. And uh, you're not going to be really irritated that the lip is coming around the front. Uh, they can so that you can switch your grip up a little bit here and there. Uh, let's see what this is. All right. So there's your battery compartment and the top. And then right here in the center is where you'll store your USB uh, receiver. And it's kind of oh, it is magnetic. I thought it was snap off. Uh, I thought it was, you know, some kind of. Hmm, that's pretty cool. It doesn't feel, you know, it doesn't feel the most. Uh, what's the word? It doesn't feel the most secure. It doesn't feel the most sturdy. Uh, you know, what do you expect for $10? But if you're a little careful with it, um, it seems like it should work all right if you're a little careful. Also, when you when you uh, put it back together, you got to kind of slide it. I don't know. That's easy. Well, um, I will give this a go for a few days and uh, get an opinion. Maybe I'll do a uh, an update for what I think of it uh, right off the top. That's really not bad. That wheel feels pretty good to scroll. There's some resistance there. It's not just uh, it's not just loosey goosey. It really doesn't feel bad at all. Hmm. I like the size and the weight. Man, you're only adding two double A's or two triple A's. Uh, one thing I'd like to see is if it operates with just one triple A in case you really do want a really light mouse. So I'll be trying that, and uh, I'll be posting a, an update here. I'm doing exactly what I said I shouldn't do here. Got to slide it back. I'll be posting an update here in a few days, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit a like, and uh, we'll see you next time.